this is an obstructive uh, ultrasound to rule out any uh, pathological uh, issue in this uh, 21 weeks pregnant female. This is the head of the fetus, and uh, the let's review uh, the findings first. The bipedal diameter measures 5.4. Four centimeters corresponds to 22 weeks gestational age. Abdominal circumference is 170, corresponding to 21 weeks, and the femur length is 3.6 centimeter, corresponding to 21 weeks gestational age. Estimated fetal weight is 452 grams at the age of uh, gestational age of 21 weeks. Now the EDD is 2. 2015. Now we see that the skull bone is okay. The internal anatomy of the head is okay. Nothing uh, uh, to worry about regarding this. Then localization of the placenta shows that it's posterior wall. Let me magnify. See that the placenta is. This is the placenta. It's posterior wall. This is the anterior myometrium. This is the amniotic fluid. Now the uh, placenta is grade two, and uh, it's uh, when trying to see that if it it reaches the os or not. <coughs> so we see that it ends above the os. As will be clear in this uh, view, this is the os. This is the uh, cervix. This is the os, and here is the placenta ending. So it's much above the os, low posterior wall, and uh, this is the body of the fetus in uh, longitudinal section, sagittal section. Here you can see the heartbeat, cardiac pressure. Heartbeat is one seventy seventy one seventy four to one seventy five beats per minute with regular waveform. This is the four chamber view. Okay. This is the eye. This is the eye of the fetus, and uh, the second eye is also seen. The amniotic fluid is less as compared as it should be in this age of in this gestational age. You can see that the amniotic fluid is significantly less. The largest amniotic fluid pocket we will see in a while. Uh, first, let's uh, rule out if there is any other anomaly seen relating to the. Uh, Fetus. Facial features are normal. This is the uh, whatever call. This is the urinary bladder. This is 
This is the femur. See, this is the kidney. This one, this is the kidney. It's okay. This is the transverse of the abdomen. Fetal movements can be seen. So in fact in this case the rest all is seen normal except uh, the only thing that see this is the liver and uh, this is the diaphragm, the lung tissue can be seen fairly, stomach purple can be seen and The only amniotic fluid pocket, if I try to get it, uh, in a, ideally, you know, it's it's always uh, it's always taken without amniotic fluid. But in this case, I cannot get the fluid pocket without uh, amniotic fluid. The reason being uh, that the fluid is so less. The history of leaking membrane, leakage of the membrane for the last few days. So can't get the accurate measurement of the uh, amniotic fluid because I cannot uh, get rid of the, you cannot get rid of the umbilical cord. This is the umbilical cord. This is the umbilical cord in longitudinal and uh, it's really not possible to get rid of uh, the amniotic, uh, the uh, umbilical cord to get the. Uh, but, however, uh, there is no doubt that eye interpretation is definitely consistent with oligohydramnios because of leaking membrane. The rest, uh, uh, at present time of ultrasound, this uh, fetus is so far alive, it's active has all the normal features of development, uh, no anomaly is seen relating to the fetus except one thing that is related, that is relating to the placenta, is posterior wall, is above us, and this is a case of oligohydramnios due to leaking, uh, leaking membrane. Thank you very much.